My name is Noomi. I am a 41-year-old mother of four children from Canada, and this is my journey on weight loss. Welcome to my 80 week post-op RNY gastric bypass update. My surgery took place on March the 2nd, 2018 at the Guelph General Hospital here in Ontario, Canada. My highest weight was 392 pounds. My surgery weight was 317 pounds. And today's weight, you'll have to wait to find out later on in this video. All right, well, I'm not gonna make any excuses, but you know, it's been busy 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 life for me <laughs> lately things have changed so dramatically this past year but this past month has been literally the best month of my life I have experienced so many great things so many new firsts I've been working a lot still the lady who got hired on at the same time as I did quit the job so that ended up giving me more, even more hours. So I've been busy with that still. A lot of you guys know from my previous videos that some things have went on. And again, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for my journey. I did happen to lose about 20 or so subscribers over it, I guess, because that's not what they signed up for. They didn't like my spam of the things that I was doing and I get it I understand if I don't have time to post an update why do I have time to up, you know post these but these are things that you know I didn't have to film me talking or anything in them much anyways and it was just something that happened that was actually exciting for me because my life hasn't been that exciting up until now you know, it's just the same old routine and the same old boring updates and you know, I just don't have anything to update usually. So that's why I posted these. Not to mention it's part of my memory as well. So I want to capture that forever. But anyways, let's get into that. On September the 5th, I took my daughter to Toronto where we were, I got us concert tickets to go see Luke Bryan. He is a country music superstar. If you, you're not into country music, you've probably heard of him as being one of the judges on American Idol. He's been on there for a while too. I don't know if he's still on there. I haven't watched American Idol in years, but I know he used to be a judge on there. Um, but yeah, I got us like, not seats, but our tickets were for in the pit. So we managed to get our way right up, right beside the stage. We literally could reach over and touch the stage. There's the stage. <laughs> oh my God. It was like the best point of view the whole night. They were literally, like every um, singer was literally right in our face, half, like the whole night. It was just beautiful. We were on the big screen so many times too because we were right up front. So yeah, they we were up there. I just didn't capture any of that because we were so close and the, the big screen was, you know, off for the people who were 
way further up. So I wasn't aiming my camera in that direction. I was aiming it at Luke Bryan, of course, and Cole Swindell and John Langston. It was an incredible night. I'm still reeling from it. I still watch those videos like pretty much every single day. I'm li I've got it going on my playlist just to listen to the music and the cheering of the crowd and everything. It just gets me so pumped and excited and happy. You know, I listen to it on my way to work and just, oh, such amazing memories, I swear. It was so much fun. This was our first concert together, so that made it even more special. But yeah, John Langston actually came, knelt down and sang to my daughter. She was just trying to take a selfie with her and a picture of him in the background. And he came down and sang to her phone while she's on the phone. And <laughs> Again, I captured all of that, but it was an amazing concert, amazing concert. Start to finish it was just so awesome I loved the energy it was like a party a real party from beginning to end it was so great I didn't want it to end I was so sad when it came to an end anyways um, on September the 8th which was three days after the concert I went to Canada's Wonderland with my two boys this time like it was so much fun to see my two boys who you know they don't interact with any one another anymore they've you know outgrown each other when they were all little they were all best of friends but they've all went their separate ways pretty much and you know we just we don't do things as a family anymore but this was such an amazing experience looking back because I made them sit together yeah it was so fun just looking back at them and seeing them laughing and talking to each other it felt so good to have that feeling of family again you know because we haven't had that in such a long time but it was so so nice say cheese guys <laughs> ah! <laughs> my youngest son though he did happen <laughs> he threw up on one of the rides he was sick for the most part of the day. So being on some of these rides that like hold you upside down and then swing you around and whatnot. It wasn't even the coasters that made him sick. It was other rides that weren't as crazy as that. And yeah, he's he told me and his brother to just go ahead without him. And he was going to go back to the car and rest it off for a bit. So yeah, me and my middle son went on all the coasters and everything. We got fast lane passes again, so we didn't have to wait in line. But we had a great time. And then we went on um, like a bungee jump type thing. It's uh, called the Extreme Sky Flyer. It costs extra, it's like $20 per person to go on this ride, but it pulls you up on a bungee cord thing and then just drops you and you fly through the air I went on that for the very first time that's been a goal of mine I've been wanting to do that and I finally did it and man that was an incredible experience it was so exhilarating so much fun we had such a blast but yeah that was another first and that was a lot of fun though I really really enjoyed that and on September 12th, I don't know if you guys remember, if you've seen my daughter's video, um, her link is always in the description below for her channel, which she hasn't done any videos in ages either. Pandora, really? Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> in your face, Pray. You're awful. April Fool's baby. Aw. Thank you, baby. Oh, I 
love you. Did you read the note? Yes, that you love me endlessly. Also, it's yours if you want it. Nice. What do you mean? You missed stuff. There's stuff under the tissue paper. There is? Yes. But Shut the... <laughs> it's yours if you want it. Get it? Baby, it's yours. Shut up! <laughs> You're joking, right? Yeah. It is April Fool's. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's September. It's five days before my birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I've been waiting to see them like my entire <laughs> life. I love them so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you guys don't know, I'm going to go see Rascal Flats. <laughs> I have loved these guys forever. Oh my god. <laughs> that is like the best present. Oh my god, we did it. But um she surprised me with tickets to my favorite band back on April the 1st. And that day finally happened on September the 12th. Oh my god. It was so much fun. I knew we were going to the concert, okay. So what I ended up doing is I ended up upgrading us and getting VIP tickets, which entailed us to a, a small private um, acoustic performance before the show. And we got like a goodie bag of stuff and they did a Q&A and we got to request songs and whatnot. It was so incredible. I had Rascal Flats sitting a foot away from, like, literally right in front of me. I could have reached out and touched them. Oh, I'd be riding in a cab going downtown. Put our faces in the big crowd <laughs> Trying to drink the pain away And I'd be Staying on the night and never, never going, going home Lose all control, control If I lost the And there'd be a riot Breaking up my heart I'm trying to fight it eye contact with each of them so many times and so crazy they smiled and ah. these guys have been my favorite band for like 19 years I have loved them forever I'm so glad I went ahead and got the VIP tickets mind you they were not cheap but they were worth every penny I I would do this a million times over if I could. Oh, it just, it was a night I'll never forget. The concert was amazing. These guys can sing anything. Again, 
that week was the best week of my entire life. Oh, I loved it. And on September the 17th, which was five days later, was my daughter's actual birthday. We never really got to do anything and because I just haven't seen her. She's been staying at her boyfriend's a lot lately. She was there for her birthday. I did get her some stuff for her birthday, um, which I left on her bed until she came home and finally opened it. But she was very, very happy with everything I got. Um, but yeah, she turned 20 years old. So my daughter's no longer a teenager. She's now in her 20s. Unbelievable. But these past, this past month has just been really, really hectic. But in a good way. I'm really, really happy. Um, it's been good keeping busy. But I have been noticing with as much as I've been working lately, I've been hungrier really really hungry I've been averaging about 11,000 to 14,000 steps a day so it's not like I'm not doing anything I'm still getting in a lot of exercising lifting and you know it's funny because the other day I was just tying my shoes getting ready for work and I had on a tank top at the time I wear like a a cover-up though like for my arms at work. I don't just let these these puppies hang out because I am self-conscious about that and I just don't think that looks very good or professional. They said they don't care if I if I wore, you know, a short sleeve, but no, we're not allowed to wear tank tops or anything off the shoulder. But I was just bending down to tie my shoes and he goes, Mom, you're so jacked. It was so funny to hear that coming from me. But yeah, I guess my arms are showing some definition in the front. Like you, you can't really see because of the loose skin. But it was just funny to hear that from him. You know, that was so random. But I've been enjoying life to the fullest. And I'm really, really happy with how far I've come. Which, in turn, let's get into the next part of this. Okay, I bought a new scale. But the good thing about this new scale... It's called Renfo. I don't know if you've heard of it. I've never personally heard of it. Someone on a bariatric group posted a picture or their stats from it on their post. And that's where I I heard of it. So I'm like, this is interesting. I want to get this. So I looked it up on Amazon and it was like $30 or something. And I had a discount already on there, like a gift card. Um, type thing and so I'm like why not just get it you know because I don't I like my other scale that I just purchased but it doesn't pick up very well when I'm recording I don't know how this one's going to pick up when I'm recording but I'll have to do that next time I weigh myself um, but this one takes a bunch of your stats like it gave me my BMI my body fat percentage how much water I have in my body the actual um, measurement of my bones like how much they weigh and my muscle mass just a lot of information it also gave me my basal meta metabolic rate and the suggestion on what I should be eating cal calorie wise per day I don't let's get into my weigh in first of all My goal weight overall is going to be 160, okay? I have gained, oh my God, that little stinker. Can you see that? I cannot believe, hey, Bella, Bella, what are you? I didn't even notice she was doing that. She has never done that before, ever. This is the first time. I think she's screaming for attention right now. Are you kidding me? I can't believe she did that. Excuse me, miss. Bella. Hey. Bella. What are you doing? Do we do that in this house? No, we do not. 
never jumps on the counter. She's too fat to jump on the counter. She's too big. <laughs> she would have never done this otherwise, but I'm just going to let her stay up there for now. Um, I've been fluctuating between 165-ish and 170 lately, I've noticed. So I don't know if this is where I'm going to remain. I don't think it is. I think I can still go further. But quite honestly, I haven't been trying. I've just been busy and enjoying life. So, yeah, I I get off track and I get on track. I get off track and I get on, you know, off and on. And I'm okay with that. I just don't want to be going too far backwards. When I hit the 170s, like getting close to 170, I start cracking down on myself again because that is my limit. I don't ever want to be higher than that. But anyways, that means I am at a total of 225 pounds lost overall. I am at a 150 pound loss since my surgery. Um, and but anyways, it's saying my basal me me mat bleh, basal metabolic rate, BMR, is 1472. So I'm assuming that is the amount of calories it's suggesting I should be eating. I don't know if I'm up that high at the moment on some days i think i probably reached that and probably 1600 calories so i guess i should be aiming for 1400 calories a day according to the scale i i don't know but like my overall goal i wanted to stay under like 1200 but i think i'm far enough out where i am eating a normal healthy size portions now i'm not measuring my food. I don't eat just one cup of food anymore. I am eating a normal size um, that a normal healthy adult eats. So sometimes I can finish it, sometimes I can't. But again, I'm, I'm not really restricting myself. I don't feel like I'm on a diet anymore like I used to. I don't want to feel like I'm on a diet anymore. My new scale works off of Bluetooth so it syncs to my phone which is very very convenient and it's it gives me this whole list of things that it measures in my body which I think is going to motivate me even more because there are some things that are yellow like in the yellow which I want to make in the green. So I think that's going to push me and motivate me even more to get on that. Right now it suggests, it's stating that my, uh, what was that? My age or something, according to my body, my overall body is like 47, which I find very strange because I feel so much younger than my actual age now. But it's all good. I'll work on that. Hopefully, as I start to lose more, I'm going to feel even younger. I don't know. I think it's more about not the number on the scale anyways. I know a lot of people say this, and it is true. It's how you feel, and I feel fantastic right now. I feel really, really good. And if colder weather's coming, so we're bundling up more. Um, I'm not looking forward to winter. Because again, I walk to work. Oh, excuse me. And I'm not getting much sleep lately. I'm very tired again. I don't know if I'm going to do a body shot. So I'll maybe insert that if, you know, you're into seeing my body. My body hasn't changed much since a couple days ago. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just insert that here. Because I know some people like to see me jiggle it around. You know, they just... I guess it makes people feel good about what they got going on too, you know, which I totally get. But I want to be real with everybody on what I look like. And that's it.
yeah I have been I've talked to my pharmacist uh, a couple days ago as well about my skin removal surgery because I do want to be looking into that I'm hoping to start looking into the process maybe around April I don't know we'll see again that would be a great birthday gift for myself and if you knock this down girl she's rubbing her face on my camera right now yes oh come here come here oh mm, you sweet girls yes you are when you want to be but she hates being held so this isn't going to last very long she's going to try and get away from me um but what was i saying so that's where i'm at right now guys i'm doing very very well i'm pleased with myself i'm Yes, I'm gaining and losing, gaining and losing, but it's whatever. Um, I'm not going to let myself go too far out, but I'm enjoying life. I am just, I'm hoping to one day go on vacation. That is my goal. And I told my daughter, we're going to do this. My son, he does this like every month or two. He goes to Disney. He's got season passes for both Disney and Universal Studios. So I told her one day we're going to make it down there and I'm gonna let her pick whether she wants to go to California or if she wants to go to Florida, and we're, we're just gonna go. So I've gotta start saving some money up to do stuff like this too, but right now I have to start saving for Christmas because I spent a lot of money on these birthdays. <laughs> my son, my youngest son, and my daughter's birthday, and right after Christmas, 11 days after is my middle son's birthday, then a month after that is my young, my eldest son's birthday, just a lot of these things that I'm making up for lost time, so I've been splurging. So, but I really, really do need to start saving too, because that's the whole point of getting this job, is so I could start saving for my future, and you know, start making plans for the next step in my life. Oh yeah, I was talking about skin removal surgery. That's what I was talking about with my pharmacist. And he was telling me I'm probably gonna need like a month off for while, what all that I'm wanting to get done. Cause I'm wanting, I know I'm gonna have to pay out of pocket for some of this, so I have to save for this stuff too. I don't know um, if I wanna get it all done at once or what, but I do want to get my belly done of course that is the first and most important thing i want done and i think i am gonna go ahead and get my arms and my thighs done and probably a breast lift and possible reduction too i don't know what more they could reduce there's nothing there it's just skin but they may need to remove some of that but i want a full overhaul i want my body to look the way that it's meant to look because right now yes I weigh 167 pounds I do not feel like I weigh that much like my overall body I'm okay with how I feel health wise overall but the way that my body looks like without my clothes on the way my clothes fit I know my actual body, I would be fitting in a smaller, a much smaller size if I did not have this excess skin. Like right now, I can fit in small shirts too, but my my actual size, I wear a medium. But like the shirt that I bought from the Rascal Flats concert, it fits fits me perfect, and it's a small. So I, I they probably size up those shirts, but I mean. I can fit in a lot of small shirts now too, but my real size is a medium. I've been gravitating towards, you know, more snugger clothes because, you know, I don't want to feel me. Like right now, this, this is a big shirt. I've wore this at my bigger size, but it's because it's cold out and I'm going out today and I want to be warm. So... I don't have any sweaters or anything in smaller sizes right now, so I will be wearing some of these for now until I can buy more clothes. But anyways, I think I'm just going to cut this now because I've already rambled long enough. And again, I, I apologize to everybody for not filming. 
updates. I know I've been really, really bad at it and I cannot promise that I'm going to get any better at it because from here on out, there's really not gonna be much to update. I'm gonna fluctuate. I'm bad on Instagram. I haven't posted much of anything lately other than you know when I'm actually doing stuff. And right now I'm focusing on work. So, cause I have to start saving for everything that I've spent lately. Um, but I'm just enjoying life guys. So please, I know I shouldn't be asking for forgiveness, but please understand that I'm trying to make up for lost time. I went so much of my life without living at all. I would spend four days straight in my room. I wouldn't leave my house at all. And now I'm out, I'm out in the world trying to make up for lost time. You know, I'll never get the time that I lost back, like 15, 20 years of my life. I'm never going to get that time back. So I'm trying to make sure the rest of my time here on earth are going to be memorable and I don't want to waste another second. You know, I've already wasted a lot and I hope you guys can understand that. I know some people are upset with me, but it's to be expected, you know. It happens, people come and go out of your life and I just hope that those who are still here will remain here and if not, I, I'm grateful for the time we did have together and I thank you for being part of my journey. And I appreciate you and I love you and I wish you all, I wish you all well on your own journeys. And till next time guys, have a great week, have a great month, have a great year, have a great life. Take care and God bless.